What's that she's here to? looking at me okay now mm. today i made up my mm. mind that i was mm. not going to fight with you mm. i made up my mind that i was not going to nag mm. not even just today Whatever. i've made up my mind not to nag uh, <laughs> since on um, i think thursday gosh. yeah since thursday or wednesday where have you been and i've not been nagging where have you been this afternoon do not make me where nag. have you been that is none of no your i have the right to know where you have been no you do not have the right to so know. own that that convoy that came to drop you oh that? you saw that your uncle have you? no <clears throat> no don't worry your, that's personal your senior brother that is personal <clears throat> okay. stop book no sin <laughs> okay no mm-hmm. problem <clears throat> mm-hmm. oh whatever <clears throat> Mm. Yeah. Okay, just on the back here, what's up? What's going on? Well, before we start giving the people just from the back from, from the backyard, before we start telling them what's going on, we want you to listen to this. It's from way back. Way I don't know if back. some people will still remember. Of course, they should remember because today is June 12. Have a listen. <laughs> No work, no food, no house, no life. It's more water than they bring now. So so that is the full arm. It's more money I they get now. So so transport the chop arm. Apa, too low, na headache. Hospital, no work, I tire for life, bro. My brother, waiting you they think oh. My sister, hell up, don't come. SDP, MKO, Kingy Ben. Action, MKO, Kingy Ben. SDP, no press. Yes, That's sir. Not. 1993. When, wow. When when the song was on, I, I, I'm talking about the that, that particular time, the 1993 thing. I really didn't know what they were saying, but Just I knew watch, Abiola, like, Abiola, Abiola, <laughs> progress. Everybody was talking about <laughs> I, it. I was just, I was actually anytime they play the song, I would be waiting for that part. To just come up, then I will scream whatever they had said before, whatever they would say after. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but just the Abiola, Abiola, Abiola progress. But really, to, to to still think or to still know that whatever whoever was complaining about that time, you know, mm-hmm. in the video there was a man that was just tired of everything. Whatever he was complaining about that time. It's still what we are complaining about now. Yes. Um, 24 years after. Down the line, we wow. are still like... <sighs> which way Nigeria now? Which way? Which Nigeria. Way, which way? Yes, you know, it's June 12. Everybody is talking about it. Um, sta- only the southwestern states are observing this uh, public holiday for today. Mm-hmm. Federal government, no. So if you're federal workers, and then you're you are work, but state workers are at home and chilling. Uh, today, um, uh, Tinumbu and uh, Atiku, that's from our vice president, have said that, you know what? Uh, history can never be written. Like, ev- ev- like we would never forget about um, Abiola and the June 12th yes. uh, general election, saying that you know uh, we all know that you know, uh, like he, he did win the election, even though a lot of things happened, this and that. It was but old. we would still continue to pay homage to him. That's MQ Abiola, uh, who was born. He was born on the 24th of August 1937 in Abelkuta and died on 7th July 1998 at the age of 60. Uh, in uh, in prison uh, in Abuja. Uh, well, he was a member of SDP. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, a little, bit, a little bit of history, you know, about him. You always go see that up online. And your spouse, <laughs> quite a lot, though, <clears throat> Symbia too. At, at <laughs> now, Shoaga, why are you doing that? Adeyemi, Adebisi, Olawumi, Oshi, Adedoyi, Abiola, Abos, Ab. A lot of them. Just them. The, the list is endless. Plus <laughs> other. Can you, do you see? Do you see that plus? <laughs> other women. Yeah, that, that's why I said the list is, is so endless. The children you have to, like plus others. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, but I think you know. You know. You know that that moment when someone dies and during the burial ceremonies, you you, you just be seeing a lot faces. of people. Be like, you know, 
Yes, I'm no, your, I'm a brother. Not even you don't even have to say the, when you look at the, the face. face like you know this, oh, really? So I'm you're my, I'm my, I'm So you're my brother also. <laughs> you understand? But I think but, um, the the that the younger generation who does who do not know like much about him. I think uh, well, I think history is back in school right now. Even though there was the issues with history right now, you can always you know even if history is even 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 if it's not even been taught in your school, you know you can just go online. You know it's it's course. online. Just check it out and know what we're talking about. Internet you know, had made everything easier. So I'm children be like, who is the Abiola? Don't say. Why we are home? What's June 12? You can go online so and you know, check more. Some children still know. Some children know. Yes. You know about that. Yes. And uh, uh, um, we saw um, Joe Odumaki also saying that um, the man should be honored posthumously and that June 12 should be made the. Um, what was that? 29th of May. Oh, Democracy Day. Democracy Day, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, I also um, heard that the state government in Ogun State have um, written a letter to the federal government saying that, you know what, they should sort of like immortalize him more. Because I think most of the things that like bear his name is in Egba, in Abel Kuta, that's the MQ Abiola mm. uh, Stadium, uh, the Polytechnic, which is not the university right now, that's the Moshida Abiola Polytechnic, yeah. and um, the June 12th Cultural Center also. Uh, it's about him also, but that, but the Fed, but the state government in Ogun State is saying that you know federal governments could do more yeah, by that, utilizing him and helping you know, younger Nigerians to not a generation to know about this particular man and what transpired in the uh, June 12 general election. And some are even still saying that it shouldn't be like people or states declaring the day as a public holiday shouldn't be a southwest affair. Yeah, that like should be. And oh. I was even surprised to to uh, hear that. Um, the state governor also declared today as yes. public holiday because initially it used to be uh, the AC state, ACN state, you understand? Just, yeah, too. yeah, people in his uh, party, you know, it was still the, the SDP that we, are, we still have as APC right now. So, like, it, it was initially about them, but right now we have Fayoshe joining them. Because he said, well, it's a solidarity. This is this is what we Nigerians want. And people are calling that, okay, federal government, you also should do something. Make this day a public holiday. But while some are calling for that, some are not seeing a big deal in yes. the day. Some are like, yes. so? So what happened? Eh? <laughs> really? That has gone. So we're moving on. I don't know. But you have people with different opinions, though. You have people with different views. Okay. All right, from Nigeria, let us move to Russia. And uh, I saw this about uh, the health minister of that particular country ordering that virginity tests must be performed on all underage girls. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my <laughs> lord. Why? What's what's the plan? Are they, are they, are they going to I give him don't money? I understand though. Okay, you know what? what? I'm talking about okay, virginity or no virginity, please. Um, do you I know you'd have seen some videos on TED Talks. I had a particular TED Talk and um the the headliner for that particular talk was the virginity the virginity fraud. I'm not gonna talk about the content, <laughs> but if you do go online, maybe on YouTube, you'll be able to uh, if you go to TED Talks, you'll be able to see that particular. And you remember, you listen to it. Maybe this minister really needs to listen to that particular TED Talk. Because for me, I'm like, what test? He said the really? test will let them know how many mm. how many cases of pregnancies uh, they have okay. or abortions they've done. If Why? that is, if they've not done or if they've done, okay, so what if they, they still to... remain a virgin, of course, no one. What's the statistics but going to be for? Now, we really do not know, but he just said we are going to, like he has even ordered it, and some parents are protesting this. Some, some parents are saying, no, we don't want our children to undergo this. And even some p children, or um, should I call them children, adolescents now, yes, would not re really want that. But Will his own children what, what they are still going go to through do this? Right Will his own children go through this? Well, maybe. as a man, will he be tested in a way? I don't know. Or because it's in the safe zone, he feels like you know whatever. I'm going to show this house to you know younger girls out there and give them I don't know disgrace <laughs> or something. Did because no, wow, oh, weird. No, go on, go on. <laughs> I'll tell you off here. Don't worry. I hear you. Uh, so we heard that um, Beyonce and Jay Z now have a word in the mansion where Beyonce is going to deliver her set of twins. Yes, you know, when you're rich, when you're a queen bee, mm -hmm. you can afford anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, it's going to be expensive, but I mean, they can afford it. They're the giant of the hip hop world no, right now. The, um, <coughs> million <coughs> Did you hear that? <coughs> one million yes. dolls. <coughs> wow. <coughs> one million dolls. Okay, that's nice. That sounds very, very... um. Very okay. Yes, not too expensive, right? It's very affordable. I mean, 
Yes. One million dollars. Yes. That's not really. You can afford it. That's not really. If you have that kind of money, what would you do? Now? Just go to the hospital and give it to your child. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> and give us the money. You got my at- attention in the story. I and mean, it <laughs> says if there, uh, that, that there are, they've made uh, provisions for amb- ambulances in case she has complications and she would have to get to the hospital. Yes. So why would you spend that you, you're, you're much like bringing, money? You're bringing your hospital to your house when you can go to the hospital. And you still would go to the hospital if there are complications. So why do it in the first place? Jeez, uh, wow. <laughs> when you have money, you can do anything. anything. That you can afford it. Yes. Uh, um, lastly, the our state government is saying that, you know what, uh, everybody should be very careful that um, Boko Haram now has a particular new tactic, uh, which is um, disguising as um, epileptic uh, patients. Hmm. So people will gather around them and all of that, then they will detonate their bombs. So why you have to be very, very careful. people around an epileptic You know, people are like, ah, oh, help him, help him. You know, and Nigerians now, we are very, very concerned. Like, ah, kilo, she, kilo, eba, ah, ah, kilo. Really? Before you know what's happening, psh, everybody. Psh. Please, so you yeah. just heard that. Also, Hallelujah Challenge be trading on uh, Twitter. Yes. You can join now. in. I it's interesting. About, yes. Yeah. Very. All right. Uh, it's about, what's the time now? 29 minutes. 29 so fast. Okay, we have to go. Uh, Ogben, it's our crew. They are here. And um, I can see Baba Molinji. Baba Molinji. Okay, he's going to be here with. Uh, Ola Dimeji, I guess. Thank you very much for listening to the Lunch Hour show today. I'm Sorry, I didn't come before now. <laughs> I'll see you uh, tomorrow. No, where you are. Come and report yourself. Get right, right, yeah. Uh,